So tell me this, you were in prison for a total of 21 years. Yes. In and out of prison, right? Yes. How did you survive that? Well. Mentally, just start, let's start with mentally and emotionally. How did you survive being behind bars for 21 years? Well, first let me uh, clarify one thing. Uh, it, was con it was a combined 21 years, not a total straight of 21 years. Right. Um, the longest I did was 10 years, nine months, three weeks, and two days. That was the first time you were in prison? Yeah, that was my longest, that was my longest stint. Okay. And... So when you're in prison at Londo, how do you, how do you mentally deal with that on a day-by-day -day basis? Well, what happened with me is that uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a number chart, there's a number chart that where they go by the numbers, the higher the numbers, the higher your level of security. Mm -hmm. And being that I had 20 years, it, that, that brought my level of security to what the, is the maximum security in California to what they call as a level four prison. Mm -hmm. And on a level four prison yard, when I was in back in 1992 to 2002, the, you couldn't be the reason. You could not be the reason. What I mean by that, if you mess up or you causing a, a, a situation to bring you bring attention to yourself, you're gonna be dealt with. So, but like mentally, were you depressed? That's that's what I'm getting to. Okay. And being, I don't care how bad you were or is or was at that time, that uh, to to uh, endure that type of uh, stress. Anxiety, anxiety. Now I can say that a thousand times. That goes for everyone on that yard because you never know when it's going to explode. Wow. So. So no matter how tough a person was on the outside. Oh yeah, man. I don't, I, don't, I, don't care, I don't care what your name is. I don't care how many people you alleged supposed to kill. I don't care how many people you done stabbed throughout your duration. When you on a prison yard, your life is in. Uh, uh, from the time you come out your cell. Your life is in immediate danger. So here's an interesting question. Do they give some prisoners like um, antidepressants oh, yes. or medicine to take yes. for anxiety and stuff like yes. that to yes. relax? Okay. And, 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 and here's another thing. That was back then. Now, what you just asked about now is totally different. They got joys with guys exclusively that's on medications that's overly medicated. They call them triple CMS, mm -hmm. and that means that person is probably on what they call PTSD, and they're assigned to a counselor that talks to them twice a month. So yeah, yeah, they have counselors and therapists and psychologists, and all right? all rolled up in one that you guys can talk to. Yeah, that helps you right. basically deal with mentally what what you're going through. Right now, what was it like doing all that time emotionally to be away from your family? I would imagine you make friends in prison, but your family. Your wife from it. Talk, well, speak on that. I hate to say it in this manner, but I'll just keep it real. Average guy come to prison, they not getting letters from their family. Average guy come to prison, they not going to commissary. Average guy come to prison on their own doing time. Okay. The average guy. So like from the first day, they already getting used to the fact that their family is not going to be involved. Yeah, because what they it's a, it's a it's a it's a little slogan that they say, he burned his bridges. Mm hmm. And. If you burned your bridges with your people when you was out on the street and now you're in prison and thinking they about to send you money, how are you gonna send they gonna send you money if you burned your bridges on the street? Right, right. So yeah, so it's a lot of loneliness. Yes. Right. Yes. Um now tell me about this. When you're in prison and you're doing all this time and you're suffering mentally, at the same time, there's gotta be days where you're making the best of it, right? and maybe you're having fun, right? Because I've seen, I mean, I've never seen footage of actual people in prison, but I've seen movies where people are like playing basketball and stuff like that, right? And I think there can be leagues or stuff like that, right? Right. Uh, there are, uh, well, they, they, it's certain, like again, remember I tell you about the, the levels. On a level four prison, we don't have the, uh, the time frame as a level three prison, which is up under level four to where they get a little bit more time. They go what they call night yard. Mm. On a level four prison, you have to be in your cell 
every inmate by three o'clock. So how much time do you get to spend out of your cell each day? Uh, say six hours. Just six so hours. Say six to eight hours. Now that's interesting to me right there because I've always, I was told, maybe it's, it varies in the state, but I was told you a prisoner only gets one hour a day outside of the cell. That's only for guys who's, uh, say for instance, on death row. Oh, okay. Say for instance, they are... Uh, on discipline, on disciplinary status, and they, what they, they, if me, and, if me and you had a fight, mm -hmm. and we were sent with to the, what they call the hole, mm -hmm. we get to come out of cell for one hour a day for uh, recreation. Got you, got you. But normally, a person can come out for about six hours a day. Yes, look, actually, like four hours, because you get two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening, then you get day room. So, say five hours. So about five hours. Yeah. And then on top of that, while you're in your cell, in some prisons, and again, I know this varies by state. You can have a TV, right? Yes, if you if you're in a if you're in a facility where you're in a cell living, where it's like two up to two people can fit in that cell, mm -hmm. you can have a, a, a TV in your cell. TV, radio. That's oh, in California. I know in other states you cannot have a TV or radio, even okay. though you're in a cell living. So it depends. It depends what state you're in. But you have TV, radio. Can you have like a tablet? What if you wanted? No, to? no, you cannot have no access to no internet. No, no access, tablet. no electronics, right? Nothing yeah. like that. But books, people do a lot of reading in prison, right? Oh, a lot of reading. Did you do a lot of reading when no, you were in prison? No. So how did you pass your time? What was your like? You obviously had to develop some type of, uh, what do you call it? Some type of um, activity or ha hobby, right? Right. To pass the time. What, what was yours? Uh, well, I like to um, try to put myself as as a, as an idealist, a thinker. Uh, you know, someone has. I, I, I love I love thinking. Mm -hmm. So when I, as I think, I got to get my pen and paper and write down some things that uh, I keep as my uh, uh, schooling for myself, you know what I'm saying, or something that's innovative, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a thinker, so that's how I pass my time. Cool.